rifles. When these move people ain't done nothing. This is America, supposedly. They're supposed to be able to live the way they want to live. And all this shit here means that somebody's gonna get hurt. And a lot of people is gonna get hurt so that these cops can sit up there in their uniforms. Apparently, Mayor Rizzo is going to use the force he intended to use. At 3 o'clock a.m., the dark hour of the night, heavily armed policemen move strategically into position. By 3.30, the streets were barricaded, and tow trucks clear the blocks for two streets around. As neighbors, scurried telephones to notify the surrounding community. Aroused, the loudspeaker began its invocation of invectives denouncing the so-called Gestapo militia. By 4 o'clock a.m., an all-quiet on the Western Front silence filled 33rd, as though the world was holding its breath. Then, tactical squads poured in, in flat jackets, steel helmets, with thousands upon thousands of rounds of ammunition. Policemen, policemen were long the personnel carriers, they were in armored cars, there must have been a thousand policemen. Hello, this is Mary O'Clair, a channel tender, reporting to you live again. And as promised on TV, Mayor Rizzo delivered the report he talked about so much. By 6 o'clock, he brought in a tow truck. And 6.30, a large crane was used as a battery ram to knock out the front windows, the front wall, and the front door of the compound. Then, two squadrons of policemen entered the weapon at the ready. Can't find him. Have you looked in the We ain't going down there, ma'am. Union regulations. There ain't no stairs. Come on, boy. <laughs> Nothing if you hit it with a stick. 
what I'm talking about. Who ain't talking about getting those guns and killing those cops? Because if you want to do that thing, you cut that thing. Last year, motherfucker, be cool. Bust your fucking ass. Yeah.